So to do this, we do the middle integral first. So the inner integral, which is this guy. So we're integrating with respect to y, which means we need to keep x as a constant. So we only do the integrating rules and the integrating stuff on y. So we have integrating x goes from 0 to 1 of x y squared on 2. And what were the limits of y? y goes from 0 to 1. But we still got the dx out here. We haven't done anything to him and we haven't done anything to this outer integral either. So this is integration x goes from 0 to 1 and sub 1 first into the y. So it's x 1 squared on 2 minus x 0 squared on 2. And we still got the dx and let's put big brackets around. Okay, so what's this? This is 0 because it's been times by 0 and this is 1 so it's just x on 2. So we've got the integration of 1 x equals 0 because this hasn't changed out the front. x on 2 dx. That's what we've got. So now we need to integrate that. So we pull out the half to make things easier. x dx and the integration of x dx oh, right up here. Just to leave it all on the page. So we've got, I'll rewrite it, half x equals 0, 1 x dx. That's the same thing as what we've got, haven't done anything yet. Alright, integration of x is x2 on 2, x squared on 2. So it's half x squared on 2, x goes from 1, which is uh, from 0 to 1. So we've got half out the front. Now let's substitute these values in. 1 squared on 2 minus 0 squared on 2. That's gone because it's times by 0, so it doesn't mean anything. So we've got half times a half, which is a fourth. So that's a pretty basic double integral. They do get very, very tricky, very, very fast. But that's the first one you need to know.